what I've done is I've added an absolute ton of uh, pieces to it. I've added uh, backgrounds. I've added uh, some character sprites so we're no longer those blobs. I've still got to do the boss fights and do the audio. I have recorded some stuff. Uh, it'll be a bit scratchy because I've recorded it straight off the guitar through my headphone mic. Um, I've done some foreground stuff. Um, yeah, so I've also done some collisions and I've done health and all the controllers behind it. So let's have a run through this one. So as you see, the characters, the move when they're idle. We've got little bits like that in the background. But these are the foreground. That web up there's in the foreground. Spider up there's in the foreground. Uh, Okay, um, I need to adjust that slightly, make it a little higher. Um, so let's go into the next room. So as you can see, we've got little night fellas. We've got these um, based on Mantis, I guess. Uh, oh, you've got health. That's uh, yeah, that's a big one. So you do a collision, boom. Um, it's not set to go to game over yet, but. It will be in good time. So let's keep going. Let me say we've got this guy. I'm working on a combat thing at the moment. I just need, I just need to uh, finish that off. I just need to make it destroy itself as well after it's uh, gone. But it'll be like a little wisp like that. Uh, that'll register everything. <clears throat> so we've got those little green bits here with some mushrooms. We've got some mushrooms down there. I haven't put the um, dolls in yet. But we'll keep going. So as you can see, to go with a different tile set. We um, can't quite get past here yet. But I can show you on the map anyway. So we've got We've got a red one there, so I'll exit out with this. You see, I've got some counters that I'm testing. I'm trying to do that for collision hitting on enemies, uh, which will be important for the boss fights. So how I've done this is we've got I've created another instance layer. I've moved all the playable pieces. All the other stuff is still on that. Well, the cameras as well are on a different layer. As you can see, you can still see them there because they haven't put the uh, tile sets on there. But I wanted to leave that so I could uh, show you it. So that's the one. So you see, we've got quite a small tile set. But if I go and put that in there, it's now covered. You've got this darkened area. It doesn't look too good, to be honest. Uh, I'm probably going to change this. Look at these door doorways with spider webs. Doors. Look at these things with eyes looking through. These uh, little slanted bricks. These tiles, which I'm probably going to get to say something when you go across it. Some little eye monsters, spikes. A little more defined now. Uh, I haven't done any foreground stuff for this layer, or this layer, but I will work on that. Oh, we've got some, you can see it better now. Some little uh, green dangly things. I guess it's like moss. Mushrooms down there. They don't do anything. Uh, they don't interact. Uh, this is also, these spiderwebs, like I said, are also, that's it if you jump up behind it. In fact, let's just jump back into the game. I'll show you. She can't quite reach the other one, but as you see, you stood behind that. Oh, I've got the Vigail Fascia, depending on. So, if you're that side, that side. So, let's keep running. What I'm having to do is put loads of extra variables in there. 
uh, those presents that I've, <laughs> I've only got it, um, the collision hitting one way, it should be the direction, but we'll just. And if we send for that spider up there, you can jump behind that, it's just a spider hanging down, it doesn't do anything, it's just part of the scenery. So, how I, how I did this was I've got these layers here, which are the background layers. So it looks pretty basic, you can see all the occlusions. It's quite easy, you just click the eye icon, and then obviously they're the main tile layers. We've got a play level, which is, like I said, is all the playable pieces, so the, the treasure, um, I've done it as a parcel, I don't know why, I thought it'd be a bit of fun. Um, these guys are called the Romers, they're called the Stompers, not really Stompers, I mean Chompers maybe. You've got an NPC. There's another NPC just before the boss fight. I just need to work out these boss fights. Put that in. They've got very... The monsters have got very simple AI. So all they do is just move back and forth. So every every step, which is every frame, if they go in that direction, they'll go that way, spin, that. And that's the speed they'll move. So I've given two variables that you can... Find the front end, so as you go further down, you can make these faster. For the draw, what we're doing is we're using using the draw sprite for when it's facing to the right, and the draw sprite ext when it's facing to the left, uh, using the x scale. The stomper is very similar, but instead of doing the x scale. We do the Y scale, so when it's coming up, it'll look up. When it's going down, it'll go down. It's still dangerous either way. The strike I'm using is going to destroy itself after it's completed its frame. What we've got is, uh, let me just re really rename it. The strike. So we've got to play now. 30 frames a second. Which will be quite quick. I probably need to speed up the trigger just so you can, you can do it. So at the moment we've got a zero point three. Now that's that's a comparison. I've also put the uh, key, uh, space key. We need a bit closer. So let's drop this down. I just don't want it executing at that point. Maybe I should. But so when it creates that, uh, it just pretty. Zero. So what we've got is we've got an attack state, an attack timer. This attack timer will probably try and get it down as plus as possible. I don't just want it to do it automatically straight away on on clicks. It's hard to Right, so what we'll do is, it's eight frames. So let's find it. It's getting a bit large. It's getting a bit large now. I do have different tiles, by the way. Uh, so I've got this to put the like the dead space, the bits that were just black before. So that'll sort that out. The foreground space, the strike. That's what we're looking for. Now, I was wondering. Now, I'm going to get to the 
kind of like delete itself. So in the frames, we've got eight frames. So eight frames is I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Like I said, we've got rid of these uh, square ones. So I'm probably going to make these heroes a bit human. They might be a bit like these, but they'll have specific attacks. So I'm going to have like a jump, a jumping pattern where they'll try and jump on you. The One of them is going to be like the old style. I think in Hollow Knight you've got some sort of like boar animal that you face quite early on. I might be mixing it with a different um, game, but what I think I'm actually. But anyway, what that does is it'll you're in an arena, you go know, left and right, you know, jump over it, get behind it, hit it. Uh, sometimes it'll charge. When it does that charge, if it hits that wall, it'll stun itself. So I'm going to try and figure that out. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit out of my depth now. If I'm, if I'm totally honest. Uh, so yeah, RIP player. And now, we're, oh, that's what I'm going to show you. I've got different sets of that. So you've got an idle, you've got a walk. Oh, so you've got a, you've got a walk. You've got a jump. Uh, jump's a bit darker, but I didn't know how to do that because it's got a different shaped head a bit sad maybe we'll give them similar heads like that maybe we'll give them more of a round head uh maybe one of them they'll be like different knights i guess uh one's gonna be like some sort of flying type so i'm gonna figure out how to build that one in you see the elf orbs and nice and nice and juicy they were quite quick i've put them in on the controller at the moment i've got it so it'll show up to five uh, sorry up to six if it's higher than five it would. so it's just very simple so because you start with three so at the moment it's like max health because you'll be able to restore it this invulnerability uh, gives you a it's going to work on giving you a brief period of not being able to take damage after you get hit so maybe a second maybe half a second i just need to like uh, work it out and play it a bit so uh, we've got the old temp blocks here uh these still need to be sorted i uh, from what i was reading on the game jam there's going to be you know up to like three days after submission, so if I can't get everything done, I'll upload the initial bit and I'll I'll just make some patches because the game will remain open and it will be available to uh, download. So I know what we'll do. Uh, Look like lifetime. We'll go to a step, we'll go to a step, and what we'll do is we'll tap the old times down, so. Lifetime. Oh, yeah. so, room speed. Room speed, which will be six there, divided by. I can't remember why I do it by this number, but it seems to <laughs> it seems to work. I think it might be like milliseconds or something. I'm not putting if statement if lifetime. There's less than what equals. This stops it just in case it goes over zero. So I always put with those if you time it down. 
or even if you time it up with it, like a fixed rate, so like when it gets to 10, it does this. If it goes over 10, I always try and reset it. Like I said, I put lives in there, I've created a screen that I haven't quite, I haven't done the artwork for the game over screen. Uh, no, Instance Destroy, that's it. So, Instance Destroy, Self. So if we do that, you should just destroy it after. And then, what we'll do is, if, Let's me in X, Y, uh, up strike. I would like to get some behavior in, in this maybe. Just so we can, oh, let's say. So it's, uh, as you can see, it's late. I'm going to do a bed soon. So I'm rushing to get this done so I can all over the place. I'm really sorry. But I have hammered it today. And I think I'll be doing this on the bus ride to and from work, probably on lunch, and then I'm going to get on. So hopefully I'll be able to give you a decent update as I've been nearly done. Uh, instance, we'll just go, we'll just do it for one at the moment. Uh, I'll have it set as a variable. Uh, self. What have I done here? Uh, if if place oh I'm sorry it's because I always put brackets around like it's very similar to the code that I write for work I don't make games although one of my friends did think I did and they were like really I mean my my stuff's terrible so. Uh, so it's like an attack, I ain't got an attack animation, but there we go. I'm going to try and see if I can do it when the <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> I blinked, uh, looked at the glowing hat, so maybe they were tense up for some reason. I thought they were coming to get me. Oh, maybe I should put something in there, to be fair. Anyway, that's not important. So, yeah. Uh... Boom. So what I need to do is get that to do it out the direction figure. That's what I want to show you, that you can go behind the spider. Well, sorry if this one's been a rambling one. Hopefully next time I speak to you, it'll pretty much be all there. So please like, subscribe, share, even join that game jam. Uh, because I believe you'll be able to offer some feedback on the people that were in it. I think about 18 people have entered it at the moment. There's probably a few more now. Uh, so, bye, and I'll probably see you tomorrow.